what do you see coming down the road in the next couple of years? Or is this slowing down at all? We've been talking about this forever, it feels like. Uh, you know, everyone's going like, I think it's starting to turn. It's, I, I swear we had that conversation four years ago, three years ago, two years ago. Well, not if, we, personal, all had a, if we all had a crystal yeah. ball that we could see, we'd be, right, yeah, we'd exactly. be wealthy. But I guess the thing, I think that it's just like neighborhoods or anything in the industry, it goes through changes. I, I do think it's coming back to normalcy because maybe two years ago, things, I mean, I, I wrote an offer for a home and it was 450 and I wrote it for 495 and they still didn't get the house. So you can imagine where, where it ended and where, so I'm not seeing that big of a gap, you know, between asking price and sale price. Right. Um, and, uh, but I do think that the pricing is just coming to be a little bit normal, not way off the charts. Okay. But, uh, but, but again, that inventory is creating what's here. I've never seen a market like that. I've never, and, and I don't know if I should say how many years I've done this, but this will be 45 years. Right. And so I've kind of seen the whole transition, you know, when people brought, sellers had to bring money to the table to close, and now it's just a totally different kind of market. So, uh, yeah, I think that uh, the, the, hopefully the pricing's getting more normal. The only thing that isn't normal is the inventory. Mm -hmm. That I've never seen. I've never seen where there's just not enough pro enough real estate un available to our first time home buyers or any buyers really. You know, right. Some of our upper end markets, those homes are sending a little bit more, but they're, I, I mean, we sold one recently for over a million cash. So, you know, you never know, but again, yeah, the inventory, I, th I think it's getting a little more normal. Good. So okay. I think if you want to buy, you need to go out and buy a house. I mean, it's it's a it's right. a wealth investor. Yeah. It all comes out. There's we're not making any more real estate, so it's there. So, uh, but uh, yeah, it 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 you're gonna you're gonna spend some time out there looking to find that that house that you want. Well, you know, a a big um, something that's really front of mind for a lot of people, a lot of stakeholders lately has been getting people back here, um, you know, getting pe stopping people from leaving in the first place, watching all of our children go, right. to, go to the bigger cities and everything. And one of the biggest selling points is the cost of living here. It's amazing. So it is amazing. So okay. I, I guess I was just saying, it's in our best interest that we keep it, <laughs> yeah. that we keep one of those, those, those tools in our toolkit that we can use um, because if it becomes anywhere near competitive with a lot of those larger cities, then we've just lost one of the major benefits of Absolutely. keeping people here or bringing them back. And it's funny, there was a, a, new, a Zillow article that one of my agents just shared with me that came out. And two of the cities that are, were amazing to me that they feel is more affordable markets is actually that Cleveland. And I kind of take Cleveland and into our area. You right. know, uh, We're only an hour, or a little over an hour away, and Pittsburgh. So here we look at the Mahoning Valley, which is kind of sandwiched in between, yeah. you know, those two cities. And you're right, uh, absolutely. We want our youth to stay, and you know, and of course, what brings our youth and whatever is jobs. So we want to make sure that, you know, our legislators are working hard and and trying to bring, uh, you know, jobs back uh, to the area. And you're right. Like I said, the people from California, what they sold for a million to two million. They got, they have money in the bank and bought a big, big home. Right. And, you know, bigger than what they never probably would have imagined that they could have get. You know, a million dollar house around here is quite a mansion. Yeah. yeah you know, <laughs> and, and, and in other markets, completely not. So, uh, so coming here, you have that advantage. That's one thing this valley's always been is about, is affordability. And, and you're right, that is a selling thing. And not only that, even on, groceries and everything else, mm -hmm. uh, the whole valley is uh, a plus. Plus, we're by, by two major hospitals. I always thought about retiring. When you retire, well, you know, looking at we're close to the Cleveland Clinic, we're close to University Hospital, Metro Health, UPMC, and again, that affordability. You can take your, your retirement funds and live nicely right. in this valley. You really can.
snow. Other than the snow, snow sometimes, but yeah, yeah, you can put up with that. Maybe I don't know. No it hasn't wildfires, been no earthquakes, no go. hurricanes. Yeah. yeah. Seven Seventeen Credit Union, savings power to give your business an extra boost. Business savings, certificates, and business money market. 717 Credit Union. Make your money work as hard as you do. Check out our business money market and CD rates at 717cu.com slash rates.